So now the issue of illicit trade has a significant effect on the economy. It is estimated that one out of every five products sold in the Kenyan market is counterfeited. Our reporter Esther Diana spoke to the executive director of the Anti-Counterfeit Authority on how big the impact of counterfeit trade is. Anti-counterfeit authority has warned that trade in counterfeit goods continues to grow despite the proper measures being put in place. The authority also fears that the value of illicit trade, which was estimated to be 826 billion shillings in 2018, might hit 1 trillion mark if the next industry data is released today. Counterfeiting continues to be a big challenge uh, in the economy and it's important to note that 80% of the counterfeited goods that uh, we continue to nab in the market, they are coming from outside the country. Illicit trade is a global problem and not unique to Africa. Statistics by the World Bank shows that illicit trade has increased seven times faster than legal trade. That the country is losing close to 826 billion, which 10% of that figure constitutes counterfeiting. So if you are to exploit that number today, we're talking about 900 to about 1 trillion. According to data from a 2020 survey by the Anti-Counterfeit Authority on counterfeit and other forms of illicit trade, the total value of illicit trade had a market share of 9.3% in 2018. Most of the illicit activities are done outside the formal systems. What government would have earned? that money gets to the uh, illegal traders. Other factors fueling counterfeit trade are such as differentiation, where consumers are unable to differentiate what is counterfeit from genuine. There is also the issue of convenience, accessibility, and lack of enforcement by relevant authorities. Where the organization using, is using digital platform and software to manage uh, whatever is being imported into the country. In the current budget policy statement, counterfeiting is identified as a serious threat to the revenue generation efforts. The anti-counterfeit authorities say that most illicit goods come from Asian countries because production is cheaper in such countries. The most counterfeited products are electronics and electricals, apparels, cosmetics, footwear and alcoholic beverages. According to Ronnie Mbugwa, the executive director anti-counterfeit authority, who terms counterfeit trade as a criminal enterprise, counterfeiters are ahead of them. He, however, notes that the war on illicit trade is not lost. For KT News, I'm Dombi, Esther Diana.